It was a pleasant day for everyone. Nick was especially happy. He was going to the factory for the first time. He was picking up a crate of paper for his dad. He arrived at the pickup room with Bacon Chum. Just then, Timmy showed up. Hello, Nick, he said. What are you doing? I'm getting a package for my dad, replied Nick. It should be coming any moment. The box went down the conveyor belt. Nick placed it inside Bacon Chum. Ray and Oscar are having an eating contest over the grease galley, announced Timmy. Let's go see who will win. That would be cool to see, chuckled Nick. Let's go. But Nick forgot all about the cart full of paper. Ray won the eating contest and asked for some napkins to clean himself with. But that reminded Nick of his duty. Oops, he said. I left the cart behind. He hurried back to the factory, but when he found the pickup room, Bacon Chum was gone. How can that be, wailed Nick. I left it right there. What's wrong, Nick? asked Timmy. My paper is gone, sighed Nick. Perhaps another lick picked it up. I'll go get some of the others, said Timmy. You just look around this room. That's just what Nick did. He looked inside things and under things. Meanwhile, Jeff, Ray, and Billy asked some of the little licks. Timmy and Oscar looked around the warehouse. But none of them found a cart with paper. I'm sorry, Nick, muttered Timmy, but the box wasn't put back in the storage room. None of the little licks have seen it either, said Billy. I don't get it, pondered Nick. I put the car right here next to the conveyor belt. Timmy smiled. Maybe you didn't. Nick, which way did we leave the factory? We went through the storage room, said Nick, and arrived one of the cart yards, then we walked out the other door. That doesn't sound like the same way we went back inside, muttered Timmy. We just cut through the warehouse. It was a shortcut, said Nick. Timmy thought very hard. Nick, he finally said, I think the reason you can't find it here is that you didn't leave it here. What do you mean? The others asked. I left it in the pickup room, said Nick. But you didn't in this pickup room, laughed Timmy. Follow me. Timmy led the gang along the factory. They passed a lot of boxes before they finally saw what looked like the same place they were in. But now they saw Bacon Chum with a box of paper inside. There it is, said Nick. So there are two pickup rooms? Yes, said Timmy. The one we were just in was for the Little Licks deliveries. And this one is for ours. They look almost the same, but there's a sign in the big storage room that points it out. I'll remember that next time I come here, laughed Nick. Now I need to get this home. We've been here dozens of times, remind Billy. We can show you the way out. No thanks, said Nick. I've enjoyed having to solve a mystery. I want to solve another. That's just what he did. He went through the warehouse. He turned into the other pickup room and knew it was the wrong way, so he went back. He passed through a yard of shopping carts and rode along home. Boy, do I have a story to tell Dad, he chuckled. And he certainly did.